So this is the book I'm currently reading. It's called Black Box Thinking by Matthew Side. And I'm on about page 25 at the moment, and I'm sort of struggling to find time to read it. Now at the moment, I sort of use my phone for a lot of content. So that's where I discover Blinkist. Blinkist is a app on iOS and Android that allows you to read books in 15 minutes or less. You can either read the book or you can actually get it read to you, but essentially it tries to summarize the core pieces and core content inside the book instead of reading the entire book to you. Now, this is something that's brand new, so I wanted to review it, and the Blinkist team gave me one month free. So let's jump into the review. So as you can see here, this is where you discover content. There is a For You section, which brings suggestions from all of the books you read, as well as a curated list section, which basically brings together some of the top reads from certain individuals or from people who are specialists in their area, bringing together the best books, which is really, really interesting. Was I also checked out the trending section, which brings up all of the books that are trending inside of Blinkist, as well as new books that are added. There are about 40 new books added every month to Blinkist with around 1,500 titles in total. So there's always a growing list of content, as you can imagine. And most of the books on here are audio available, so you can actually get them read to you. There is also a search section, so you can actually be specific about the book that you would like to read, uh, or you can search a topic as well. And there are categorized areas where you can actually go and find certain categories, uh, which is very handy. So when you actually go into a book, it actually shows you a synopsis or a summary of what the book is about, but also what benefits you'll get when you are reading this. It will also give you suggestions on what type of person should read the book, and also a bit more information about the author. When you go into a book, a book is broken down into round about 8 to 15 elements called blinks. When you're in the read mode, you can actually scroll through and they're almost like one pages that basically have the chapter in, which is pretty impressive. They're sort of a blend between quotes and you can actually make uh, and skip and jump different sections as well. So there are abilities to change the uh, font size and also the brightness too, and also whether you want it black or white too, which is pretty handy for if you're in the night. Inside of the piece, you can also look up using Apple's native look up feature, and you can also use their built-in highlight feature, which allows you to highlight some of the text all the way to your profile, so you can sort of look at it for later. Within Blinkist, you also have the ability to, if available, read the audiobook version, which sort of saves you a lot of time. So once hitting the audio button at the top, you can actually see the blinks that they're going to read you. So normally it's between 8 and 10 blinks. Uh, they're normally about a minute and a half long, but this is really handy. What I tend to do is download them offline, which you can do by hitting the offline mode, and it will download it. And basically I just let these play while I was on the way to work. Sometimes if you're on about a 30 minute walk or 30 minute walk to a location or even 15, you can fit in a book or two, which is pretty impressive. It's something I really enjoyed about using the actual Blinkist experience is because I actually was able to fit three or four books in in my entire day. Now, this was pretty cool because obviously content learning is a useful asset and basically it sort of skimmed most of the stuff that all of the books had, all of the learnings, which was pretty cool. Within there, you can also see the highlights that you sent to your profile, which is pretty handy. So you can see that at a glance in case there are some amazing quotes that you want there for later. And you can also favorite um, books, which is pretty cool. So you can actually jump to them. If you're concerned, you can actually use the uh, like filter settings inside of library to quickly jump to a book uh, based on progress or recently added. And there is also deeper filters too. There's even a tag section. So if you're very keen on organizing your content, organizing the books that you're reading into sections, you can. You can simply add them to the favorites or edit the tags and even use the send to Kindle and save to Evernote feature. Now the Blinkist app is available on iOS and Android and there are sort of three models to using it. So you can use the free model, which is Blinkist free. You basically get one pre-selected book per day and it also allows you to browse through the Discover to see what's new inside of the app. So you get a very limited experience as a free user. The Blinkist Plus gives you access to 1,500 titles uh, with 40 new books added each month, and also the ability to highlight and read your whole library offline. 
that's $49.99 a year. So that's quite a bulky subscription. For the UK, that's about £30. There's a premium subscription which includes all of the plus, obviously, and allows you to listen to the audio through Blinks, which is a very cool feature, and also allows you to sync to Evernote and send reads right to your Kindle device. So it sort of doubles up as a uh, Kindle content experience too. So it's a bit of a, uh, it might save you a bit of money when it comes to uh, ordering books on your Kindle. And that's $79.99. Now, after using it for maybe two or three weeks, I was able to read and will read about uh, 20 or 30 books, which is pretty impressive. And obviously that's nowhere near the 1,500 books that are inside uh, Blinkist. But it was pretty, I could see myself getting through a fair amount per month. Now for the yearly subscription, I would consider this, but I would definitely consider the premium only because it's got the audio and the uh, Kindle features, which could be pretty handy as I go across my day. So I'm definitely considering that. I'll let you know on Twitter whether I actually go ahead with that. But I think it's a pretty cool way for me to browse through books and get some good reading done. I mean, the problem with maybe potentially using the book is there are so many unnecessary stories being told, and I could get through a lot of more books through the year. Anyway, guys, these are just my opinions, and I really enjoyed using Blinkist, so I appreciate the team for passing that over. At the moment, uh, they've got a three-day free trial, but they've got 30% off their premium uh, per year, which is pretty impressive over on the Black Friday deal. So uh, give that a try, and I'm looking forward to your thoughts. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to doing some more features on apps, and let me know in the description whether you'll be using Blinkist just to try it out. Anyway guys, have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.